Greetings to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grim Dawn, Act Number Two. This is Kluger, and thank you so much for tuning back in. As you might be able to tell if you've run this area before, we are outside the gates of the Steps of Torment. I'm guessing this is going to be the final sort of part of this playthrough. I don't know how much, how much more time or how many more episodes we'll get out of this, but. Let's move on in. I actually haven't gone in here yet. Uh, I'm guessing this is some sort of high-level scary man dungeon. <laughs> so let's go and find out. Okay. So, thanks once again. Oh yeah, they're level 38. <laughs> thanks once again for everyone ch ch for tuning in. My god. You might be able to tell I haven't recorded in a little while. I'm speaking absolute gibberish. Yes, thank you so much for watching, for tuning back in to my Let's Play. For anyone who has actually been following this with any sort of regularity, you would have noticed a bit of a layover, I guess, uh, between episodes. I had been doing them twice a week, and I missed pretty much all of last week, so I apologize for that. It was my birthday weekend last weekend, and my delightful girlfriend basically stole me away all weekend. We were out, and, you know, we went to see a stage show, and you know, hung out in the city, got to dinner, all sorts of stuff. So, and weekends are my recording time, so you know, I had to make the ooh, that was level thirty-five, bam. And so I, I had to make the willing sacrifice, give up my weekend, celebrate my birthday. I'm sorry, I know, selfish. <laughs> But no, it was very fun, and I thank her for it publicly now. Ooh, Markov Mogadogogadogogan. <laughs> I don't actually know what it said. Oh, man. So, this is definitely a high-level area. Uh, all level 38 to 40 is what I've seen so far. Would you hurry up? Okay, we've got no one near us. Let's back up. Look at this cool hat. Oh, we've got another one. Hello, Haunted Champion. Now, oh, come on. Here, boy. Okay, <laughs> so the Mark of Mod, sorry, Mark of Mo Mog Drogon. Guys, couldn't you make it an easier thing to say? <laughs> anyway, whoa, gives a lot, it's used in boots only. Uh, gives elemental resistance, percentage health, health regeneration, movement speed as well. Ah, but you get minus damage to beast and beast kin. But that's pretty good still. Very cool. Mog Drogon. Hard to say. <laughs> While we're here... We've got our final point investments to do, so I'm going to put my last point into cunning. And now we've got three skill points left. I'm thinking about, I can max execution or max jewel blades. Oh, I can put two points into execution and I've got one point left. So I can put pneumatic burst up to ten. Hmm. I guess I can always buy them back. Let's crank the heck out of it. Oh, I can put this to four out of twelve. Yeah, that'll do for now. Yeah, bugger it. Cool, level 35, max level. Boo! Yay! <laughs> awesome, good start to the episode. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, where are we? Where we go? I'm actually a bit out of whack, to be honest. I haven't played much. Obviously, I missed all the last week. I didn't play much in the interim. So, I'm a bit all over the shop in terms of, you know, activating the right skills and all that sort of stuff at the right time. And it pains me to admit it, but I have been dabbling back in Diablo 3. <laughs> I was originally uh, one of the, not a naysayer, but I just didn't play it much because of all the bullcrap with the auction house and all that. I'm sure if you guys are into this game, you're familiar with all... What, what's happening to me? <laughs> Jesus. Ah, there's a warlock. Causing all sorts of havoc. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, yes, yes. I was one of those put off completely by the game after... I did buy it originally, played it, you know, gave it a try. It was kind of fun. I, I ignored sort of the, some of the niggling issues with regards to... Um, you know, the, the whole... You can change skills whenever thing, you know. Although, and, you know, you don't invest your own attributes. I ignored that stuff. But the auction house and loot progression, really, I gave up on the game altogether, essentially. And we've got a hero monster in there, so I'm going to be very careful. 
don't even know if I can continue my conversation here because I'm so focused. Bear with me a sec, guys. I'll pick this back up very shortly. Chill heart the frozen. You're gonna die, fool. There you go. Grenadier shoulder guard. It's kind of cool. Gives a spirit cunning plus three grenado. Increases armor protection. Gives us. Yeah, it's not suitable for us, unfortunately. That's a bummer. That's somewhat of a non event if I'm being slightly. Oh, another one. Lord, oh, Lord Alistair, we've met you before. He was back in the Arcovian Undercity <laughs> from several episodes back. Uh, he's getting around. We got. Oh, nice and all, dude. Ah, bugger, what was I talking about? What was I talking about, everyone? Yes, Diablo 3. So, you know, the real money auction house and all that sort of stuff and getting no decent drops really put me off and I never went back to it. I only played it for about a week, I think. And I was pretty much meh. Grim Dawn rules and then Grim Dawn came out and I was all over that and here we are. <laughs> so we're going through to level 2, I'm guessing. Pain. Ah, steps of torment. Pain is a step, I guess. Huh. How creative. No, really. I sounded so sarcastic when I said that. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, Loot 2.0 came out, as I'm sure everyone's familiar. And, you know, I have my, my cousins and some of my family and friends are playing it. So I was like, what the heck? Let's give it another whirl. And I have I have been playing it and kind of enjoying it. Um, but it actually feels so different to... Um, well, there's a lot of dudes here. Okay, so this is, this is probably going to be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Just saying gonna have to be kind of careful so yes I will admit it I have been playing it and having some fun I was playing with my my 12 year old cousin in Diablo 3 just before and it was pretty cool hanging out and killing things together it's kind of fun still it still doesn't match up to Grim Dawn the guys at Crate with their much smaller budget and development team have made a superior game to Diablo 3 in most ways I'm nearly dying. Who's shooting me? Ah, one of those guys. They do do a lot of damage. Oh man, this is intense. Diablo 3 does have, you know, some some pros to it. I suppose you'd say. Um, the combat does feel good. The impacts are really cool. Flows really nicely. Um, the yeah, you know, the the layout, the graphics, even yeah, you know, the um. The soundtrack's all sugar. Ah, that's so annoying, man, when that glitches. Jeepers, man, these guys are tough. Let's back up a bit. Man, oh man. Oops, oh, I used one of my salves. My jelly bombs, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> this is the worst conversation. I didn't expect this to be so tough. Well, I kind of did, but... I want to talk. <laughs> so yeah, Diablo 3 does have some positives, even back in the day with its graphics and soundtrack and, and bits and pieces, you know. The combat felt good. Story didn't really matter. <laughs> but yeah. So now that they've improved some of the loot stuff and abolished the auction house, it's in better shape. But besides those bits and pieces where just by the, the sheer budgetary unlimitedness, <laughs> if you want to call it that. You know, Blizzard were able to make a game with beautiful graphics and what have you, even though they paid the wrong people to design the loot drops and stuff back, way back when. But that's what Grim Dawn still even wins out, I think, with its loot progression and loot variety and build variety. Absolutely, with the build variety. So many, oh, sugars. Like I have 84,000 potions. 67, specifically. Put your damage reflection away. Definitely Grim Dawn is still superior, but Diablo 3 is a bit of a different vibe. And it's got the multiplayer, of course, which is delicious. I can't wait for Grim Dawn to have multiplayer, I tell you that what. Tell you that what. That is good wording. <laughs> Where are you going? The, the hat's there on the floor, you goose. Anyway. So that's loots right there. This is pretty tough. Raid a Crescent Axe on the floor that I don't want. Also, we're not a we're not really a defensive character, and <laughs> defense is probably going to be useful down here at some point. 
So that's proving to be interesting, I must say to you, sirs and sirzettes. I'm just making up words. That's how I roll. Okay, this is all fairly handleable, just chilling back here. Staying out of range of some of those jerks. Look at this fool. Stupid priest. Okay, took care of him. Where are we? Where are we? Whoop! No time to stop. I think I missed the Haunted Noble. That's the... The Haunted Nobles do a lot of damage. Maybe I got him. These guys... These guys do damage in of themselves. They're pretty tough. But we got him. We got him. Can I go in there? No. Can, I can go in here. Boom. Awesome. So, I'm thinking this Let's the Act 2 Let's Play is coming to a close at this point in time, from what I can tell. I don't know how long the Steps of Torment actually are, but I guess we'll find out. But anyways, uh, until, and I didn't even know if I will be, wait a minute, sorry, so distracted, no, it's no good. Um, I will likely be doing a multiplayer LP of this game when multiplayer does become available. Um, however, that said, I don't know when uh, multiplayer will be out for Grim Dawn. So, I kind of need a replacement Let's Play. I guess in the interim, um, between now and when multiplayer comes out. And I don't know what I'm going to do. So if there's anyone out there with any suggestions for games that'd like to see me run through, new games, old games, anything you think would be cool and you'd like to watch and see me run through and have a bit of a laugh and have a chat to you guys, I would love to have suggestions. So please do send them through if you can. Just leave them in the comments below. Links to any games and what have you would be tops. Thanks in advance for anyone who does do that. Uh, I've got a few ideas floating around but I haven't really settled on anything. Uh, if you've jumped on my channel at all and had a look through, I've done, you know, doing Borderlands 2 at the moment and Titan Quest Immortal Throne. Um, I've dabbled with Gunster Heroes, which didn't go so well because it's a really hard game to commentate on uh, while you're playing through it because it's so fast paced. Uh, what else have I done? I've, I've also contemplated doing other old school games because. Really, when I started gaming, it was all about Sega Mega Drive. That was my main introduction to the gaming world. So I'm thinking about revisiting some of those sorts of games. Uh, Golden Axe, you know, Shining Force, stuff along those lines. Games I used to play a lot when I was younger, even recently. <laughs> um, so if anyone out there has cool suggestions, or would like to see me play through any of those that I've just mentioned, please, uh, again, let me know. Oh, another one I had was um, the Jedi Knight series. Um, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Academy. Hang on, guys. There might be someone at the door. Bear with me a few moments. I'm back, guys. Excuse the interruption. You wouldn't have noticed much of a difference. <laughs> um, bugger, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so several games floating around in my head of things I can play. Mostly older games, games I've played before, but are really fun to play. Um, it's kind of unique, I guess. I don't know of any people that are let's playing them now, but they surely have been done in the past. So I'm kind of um, debating with myself as to whether it's it's worth the time. See, so, yes, any any suggestions or feedback there it would be great. Yeah, good people. Uh, also, no one was actually at the door, but there was some squeaky business going on somewhere, so I have to go check it out. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Ancient sarcophagus. Somehow I don't see this ending well. Let's clear out the room first. Oh, sugar! That was a big hit. I'm going to hide in here for a sec. You're a jerk. <laughs> Fellblade of the Wind, that sounds cool. I don't know if it's any good. Lightning damage. There's a lot of gear for me to go through here, so maybe I'll do that off camera. I don't know if this is going to be a bad guy or just loot. 
Definitely loot. Rotten heart. Cool. Gives us poison and chaos damage. Elixirs of spirit. Purified assault. Other junk. My inventory is full as it is. Gonna have to run back to town between episodes. Where are there? Thank you. Gonna have to run to town between episodes. Hey, yay, yay. I wonder how many steps of torment there are. It seems I'll get at least one more episode out of this. I don't know if my character is going to be even strong enough to get through all of this. If I really gear up and probably even get some defensive business going. Because I'm getting pummeled pretty hard as it is. I've got to be very careful. Hide around corners and be a wussy altogether. <laughs> but such is life. Okay, but no, for the most part, we're still handling, we're still dishing out a lot of damage. So that's good. Good things are good. Is there a guy I missed in the corner shooting me? No. No, there is. Someone's shooting me. There he is. What a sneaky bugger. Where are we going? Okay, there's a little corner there. So we'll hang a character's right, our left. Get in amongst them there. Get that spinner rooney going. Skeletal Priest goes home. Shadow Strike. Smack you in the face. Break some urns. Open another chest. More things we aren't particularly interested in. But I will take them anyway. I should probably get rid of some of this stuff. I'll keep all these as maybes. As things I'm going to use. Which I actually have decided not to. Oh yeah, these pants I had last episode I've decided not to use. And I'm still carrying them around. At this point, I'm not using them because I can't compensate for the resistances of my existing pants. If I get rid of my existing pants, some of my elemental resistances go down to effectively zero. And it's quite important, the old resistances, especially at high level sort of areas like this. We need to keep our resistances up if possible. Jeez, I hit one of the noobs with my Shadow Strike. Instead of the, um, the Knight. You missed. Well, should probably get a... Oh, man. Haunted Noble. Missed him. Missed him. Bloody hell. That was a very poorly timed attack. I went in and my bloody spin attack, whatever it's called. That thing, I don't know. Oh, yep, potion. Ah, Ring of Steel. It wasn't the time to be checking. Jeepers, man. I can't even stand still. Okay, we're cool, we're cool. You're panicking. <laughs> Man. Get that dude. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, danger. Something tells me this is dangerous. <laughs> Don't know what. Boom. How is that for some skills, Oz? So we have to be able to stand in amongst dudes for a, a little period of time, you know? So we can actually get some dual wield attacks going. But they're not letting us, really. Oh, we got a couple of evil dudes in there. Haunted champions beating the heck out of us. Oh, and one of those big fellas. Skeletal Gargantuan, my old friend. Now they're not coming out, wusses. Alright. I guess the end of their tether is about at that doorway. Oh man, that was close. Oh man, I'm trapped in a thingamabob. Shifty bugger. He killed that dude. That wasn't that hard. Do you guys remember the first one of those I saw? I pooed myself. That was seriously scary. I feel like I'm getting slowed by something. Probably imagining, but whatever. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, man. I can't carry you can't carry anymore. That's ridiculous. I'm trying to stop here for a second because I've got another Blessed Steel. Where's my Blessed Steel gone? Because they look like that. The yellow things. I'll get it sorted later. I really want to complete it. <laughs> I wonder if those rooms are going to join. I would guess not. 
So let's go and do this room. Oh man, I don't like this room. This room is not going to end well for us. We've got a bazillion haunted champions coming at us. Okay, we did it right. We did it right. I've got the warlocks though too. Where are you at? There you go, you shifty buggers. I sound so Aussie at the moment. Do I sound really Aussie to you guys viewing in foreign countries? I probably do. Sound like a real skip, mate. Ooh, exalted stash. Defended by all manner of baddies. Alright, we handled that okay. I was about to say we handled that okay, but we haven't finished handling it just yet. Whew. Nelly. Energy potions are probably a good move at this point. Man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hey, where'd you come from? Where are we? Ah, that joins to there. Ah. I see, I see. We might be going a little over time this episode. So we can get to the next level and commence from there. So we're opening our exalted stash. We got one blue. It doesn't sound very useful. Beast Slayer's Mark. It might be useful. Let's drop a book. So we can pick it up. Okay, it's pretty useful. <laughs> it gives us 13% piercing damage, plus 5 to 8 piercing damage, and damage to beast, which is per. I will lose some offensive and defensive ability from my Ribbon of Readiness, but... Not particularly fussed by that. When we do a bazillion piercing damage. <laughs> I'll go and switch that out uh, the before the start of next episode. So I think we'd probably be nearing the end of this floor, or this step of Torment. Torment is about right, I'd say. I think we're coming to the end of it. Surely we are. So that would be a good place to end an episode, you know. In case you couldn't tell. Savage Wand of Banishment. What's that look like? That looks cool. <laughs> uh, where are we? This has to be the end. I, it just... It just... It makes perfect sense. We're only going a couple... Yeah, there it is. I can see the, the doorway majigger. Wait a minute. There's got to be loot here. See where this pathway ends? Ah, yep. You shifty devs. Alright, so yeah, some baddies just guarding. Grand Priest Zatharoshoshoshun. Oh, my lanta. I didn't expect this. <laughs> oh my goodness! Run for your lives! I'm stuck, I can't cross the bridge! Holy Moses. Focusing prism. Sounds cool. I don't know what you do yet. We're moving, am I moving really slow or am I imagining things? Ooh, man. Back up. This bloke reflecting our damage. Yeah. Okay. We sorted them out. Did you summon them, Grand Priest Zasa Bazabazaba? <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. We smashed him with a Shadow Strike. But he smashed us with all manner of things. Another one. Bam! Yeah! Something Spined Mantle. Ooh. What are you? Razorback's Spined Mantle. Gives us Peace Retaliation plus Piercing Damage. It gives us nice things. It doesn't give us cunning, which is a bit of a bummer. But lots of piercing damage. And we lose more defensive ability because these ordered field spaulders of the badger have defensive ability. Hmm. Bugger. Something to ponder on. We've got a lot of other stuff here. I'm going to end this episode because this is just taking too long. Where are we? Oh, this is it. What's this? Steps of Torment, Floor 4, Entrance. Did I miss something? Floor 3 exit. 
I'm missing something. Is there a secret passage? Or are there only two floors so far? I'm a confused gentleman. What? Help? <laughs> what? Look, floor four entrance. Maybe it's not released yet. I'll have to check. Am I going crazy? Did I miss something? I'll figure it out. I'll have a look on the interwebs and see if I can figure it out. Because this episode has gone way over time. So, thank you all for for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope it was scary but productive. <laughs> I'll go sort out some of my gear business. And I will see you again soon. For now, this is Kluger signing off. Have a great day.